All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. So it's been a while since I uploaded a video, but uh, this is how you're gonna flower or um, manually flowering all your flowers for uh, this uh, plants right here, okay? So my plants are about a year and a half old and um, it used to be look like this and there's no flower at all. So by, because this will flower by season, and it usually during the summer it'll flower by itself and it's not as thick as, as, as this right here. You don't plant it right. So this video is for the beginner, okay? So you can actually flower these twice a year, but by doing that, um, you gonna, uh, the plants will not live as long as it's supposed to, okay? So it takes a lot of energy out of the plant. So, uh, I'm gonna turn all of this into bonsai, but as of right now, uh, I'm just gonna leave it as all the branches, you know, kind of trim up a little bit. So as you can see right here, uh, if you start to trim a branch like this, you, you trim the, the top uh, uh, of the stem. If it has a long stem, trim it a little bit to the size that you want, and then you can shape it later on in the future. And the small buds gonna start growing like these right here, okay? And then if you want it to flower, it's actually pretty easy to do. Um, we have a lot of rain lately, you know, tornado and all of that uh, stuff coming in. So uh, so my plants are really good. I don't have to uh, water at all. But if you um, don't have a lot of don't have a lot of rain, you have to like basically flower, uh, water it every day for it to get flowers. OK, so two ways that you can start manually flower out of season for this type of plant or this type of flower uh, there's the first way that you can do is dry them out okay so a new plant let's say a new plant like this right here and you can just don't water it put it out in the sun don't water it for like 7 10 15 days until the leaves fall off like all of the leaves fall off and then you're gonna water it, give it as much water as possible every day, sometimes two, three times a day. You water it so much and then it start to buzz, okay? And when it started buzzing, you can actually see, um, see, I have, I seen a new, a new buzz right here. Okay, so here is one right here. This actually will start flowering in a couple of days right here, okay? So remember, Remember this plants right here. I'm gonna come back out in about two to three days You're gonna see a small flower right here and then it's eventually It kind of goes bigger and bigger and it has like, you know more flower on one small stem like this and One thing the flower only grow on the young Stem, okay on the, on the young stem like this. You see this is the old one It's not gonna flower but the buds will come out of here It make a small branch like this and then there's start a flower. As you can see right here, see? This is the old branch, then the buds coming out here. One more stem come out here and it start a flower. Flower, just like that, okay? Flower, just like that. So, and this branch right here doesn't have any flower yet, but it will soon in a couple of weeks. It's a flower and these flower actually, this will last for months, okay? sometime it will last for the whole summer okay so that is one way that you can do is just to leave it dry the leaves will fall off and then you start to like dump water on top of, of the plant and it will eventually flower in the, in a weeks 10 days or so okay so the second way is you starting to picking out of the leaves up but you know sometimes when this plant right here will flower it will be beautiful okay so you can see a lot of buds on on here the flower eventually will grow all around here okay grow a plant like this is actually kind of hard for the shape that you want but you know bonsai will take forever to shape it into something that you like so this is something I shape for about I'll say about two years 
but it's not to the size and shape that I wanted yet. But you know, hey, it looked it looked kind of cool to what it, I want it to be. So, and again, right here, the second method is to if you want it to uh, flower quicker and you don't have time to leave it out in the sun like I do in the past couple of months, we have a lot of rain. So it's keep dumping water onto here. So it doesn't, uh, the, the leaves won't fall off. If you take it inside, you know, the flower, um, it's not as colorful, okay? Uh, like for example, this flower right here, you see it's bright red, but if you leave it inside the house or inside a shade, the flower is kind of light pink okay um, it turned like very light pink sometimes it turned like almost white so that's what you don't want you want a bright red okay full sun bright red okay so pick the flower uh, pick the leaves off sometimes you just leave it one or two big leaves like this until the other leaves will come out and then you come back and you know pick the leaves off like pick the leaves off like this but you know you kind of do it have to do it every day until it's out of flower okay so you want to leave some of the young leaf back onto the uh, the young stem, the young bud, and then it will eventually starting to flower. Okay. So, and again, just like this one right here, I do it at all of this, and just leave a couple of big uh, leaves right here, and then the small buds gonna come out like that, and then you're starting to pick up the old leaves okay and eventually I will have as you can see right here I have two buds on the top one here one here and one here and also all around to the bottom like the full stem right here have a lot of buds so I will have like a full uh, branch of flower right there and as you can see right here see this one right here you just need to pick off this and around the body as well so you got to be really careful uh, not to not to uh, break the uh, the small buds right here okay so sometimes if you can pop it if you can't pop it back out so just kind of use your fingernails and clip it okay and right here too you just goes and you, you know sometimes playing with flowers take a lot of time to do that okay so right here if you can see this right here will start flowering right there you can see two small buds on actually three small buds on this side let me see if I can focus. Uh, okay, so it's not focusing at the moment. There you go. There you go. You can see it better. Had three buds, one here, one on the front, and one on the top. Okay, so three, and then I have another small uh, branch is gonna grow out on the bottom of this. Okay, so the more branches you have like this is the more flower you will get out of this okay so how do i get to so much branch like this okay you gotta cut it like for example if you leave this too long it's only gonna grow flower right here and it's only gonna have one maybe two flower right here okay so the reason i say two flower is um is this right here if you can see okay this come out to one flower and some of this this right here come out with three flower okay so you rarely get three flower like this but most of the time you'll get like maybe one if you're lucky you get two but i'm pretty lucky i get three right here so as you can see most of this right here only one flower okay at the tip so if you want it to have a lot of branches like this so right here I, i'm gonna have like a whole bunch of flower 
right here and on and on this branch right here too so to get that if you want flower to grow like somewhere here cut it cut right there and then more buds gonna come out closer to the base and then you get more flower there if you want if you plan on you know make this to something or you want it to drip down then leave it grow all the way out and then do whatever you want so as of right here it looks like it's gonna grow maybe a little longer right there and then we'll have flower uh, maybe two or three branches and hopefully I can get I can I see a couple of small buds right here and it will grow out to you know small branches like this this is gonna have flower 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 all of this will be flower flower here this branch is kind of dead so I'm gonna cut right off of that and this right here is gonna be beautiful this whole stem this whole branch right here is gonna have so much flower one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I will have at least twenty-two flower right here on the on the branch, and a whole bunch more coming out this way. So it's gonna look beautiful when it flower. Okay, uh, this one doesn't have so much of a shape yet. I kind of like it like this. Maybe a maybe this branch. I'm gonna grow it outward, and you know shape it to something that's kind of matching this and then this branch gonna match you know some something just mess around every year something different to play with this one doesn't have so much of a shape but i think i like the root that's why i'm bringing up the root a little bit i have like a little um small bucket on the bottom so the roots will grow out like this and this one is start of flower is going to be beautiful too all the branches where I want it to be so far but this right here see this one I haven't um, do anything to it I haven't picked out the uh, the leaves so it's only starting to flower right here because it has less leaves on the bottom right here so if I start to pick off you know all of this and maybe it'll come out like a small buds right here somewhere and then it'll start a flower but this one i don't think it has any more buds because you don't see any buds coming out but you know this is potential uh, potential right here so basically you're gonna clean all of the leaves like strip it naked okay so one more thing i want to add on to this is um if you wanted to flower a lot cut the stem here three to four weeks before you dry out your plant okay so right here right now is completely wet but if you want to trim it here three weeks prior okay you trim and then within that three to four weeks uh, it will grow small buds okay it'll grow to small buds like like this and then about four weeks later it'll grow into maybe something this size and then you dry your plant out so all the leaves will fall and then you start dumping water onto the plant that when you have more flower so for example if you dry in this plant out right here right and you don't have much uh, you don't have much new branch to come out so you only get one or two flower at the top but you cut here and then you let your buds go out three to four weeks and then you dry out so eventually you get like four five six even ten flower coming out on this little branch right here and you know something like this you can get like maybe 20 flowers out of this okay so yeah this one i love it right here it has all the flower it has a, a branch right here it goes up but it died off so i cut it um, i trimmed it a couple of weeks ago uh, right there but you know the flower is beautiful just like that so if you have any question let me know and i'll try my best to answer your question